Hey, what is going on everybody? Boylan here and today we're going to be doing another Cosmic Crucible video here of my Trial 3 here with Clark Kent. Uh, I do want to talk about, if you guys have saw my uh, my Trial 2 video from the other day, uh, we saw that there was a Rogue Gambit Marauder hybrid. So today in this video we're just focusing on this brand new Unlimited X-Men full team uh, that we're going to be facing here in this video because I think this might take me some time. So I, I'm not recording the other footage. I mean, some of these teams are pretty self-explanatory. There was a uh, a Dark Old team here. There was a uh, Axeman hybrid here. I used my Black Order to beat that, and I used Dark Hold to beat this. Just a mirror match. And then we had uh, this Shadowland team in the Mystic Room, and and that wasn't too much of a trouble. I used my Astonishing X Men because I took that off of defense. I, I'll show you what I changed around on my defense this time around on Trial Three. And then for th this was a bit trickier actually. Normally this is the team that I used to, to go up against uh, Wakandans, but this Wakandans was a little bit bigger than most of the ones I run into, so I, I it was actually pretty close. Uh, I did end up losing uh, Silver Samurai and Doc Ock fell pretty quickly. But he did allow for that offense down resistance, which is really good against Okoye. So I'm still glad he was there. And then for room number six, this was an interesting one. And I want to point this out uh, to you guys here because this was, I guess, designed to speed up, uh, give ability energy to Dagger on their end. So there was Baron Zemo in the in the, in the middle here. And, and they could have lined it up a little bit better, I think, if Baron Zemo was on the far end here. Uh, and so that would funnel energy into Dagger instead, and so that way Dagger would be able to turn one alt. I think that's what they were planning on doing. Uh, but Capsam was on the other side, so it was kind of a little bit awkward. Now, on uh, what I ended up doing here is I ended up using Baron Zemo to funnel into the Doctor Doom. And with the Emma Frost, that gave me the speed advantage on basically using a mirror match to some degree uh, with Cap Sam going first, giving speed bar to Doctor Doom, and then that was that. So um, now that means it leaves me with very, uh, small options. We know that the Eternals kicked... I got my Eternals kicked in uh, last time around, and that was just with Rogue and Gambit. Now this is a little bit of a smaller Rogue and Gambit, but they have the rest of the team. And I've heard from other people on my Discord and elsewhere that the full team is a team to be reckoned with even though they might only be you know this power here so what teams do i have really to deal with them i honestly don't think i can one shot them i've been told that infinity watch can one shot them but it's quite tricky and it has to be a pretty big punch down so what we're gonna do just for the video's sake because i don't know if i'm gonna win or if i'm gonna lose this match i'm thinking of starting first with infinity watch because what i have left i either have infinity watch i have silver surfer uh you know a couple of characters stand alone and then i have the eternals with like Sharon Carter, because I didn't use Sharon Carter in the previous match, you know, Deathpool, Black Bull, a few other characters, but nothing super extraordinary. And that's where I'm sitting at right now. So that's where things kind of land. So I'm going to go first with the uh, Infinity Watch in this attack. Before we do, I just want to share people what I'm doing with uh, my defense now. I did change over because people were saying that it was quite compelling, even though my uh, Unlimited X-Men are gear 12, uh, level 65, 6664, I'm still going to slot them in here anyways with my Rogue and Gambit, so I'm hoping that, you know, we'll see what kind of crazy punch-ups, because I've been told that this team can punch up, like, double, almost double the amount of power, so, you know, uh, we'll see what kind of, you know, what ends up happening in this match here, and I don't know if, uh, if uh, Clark Kent watches my channel or not, so if he does, then he'll see these attacks, but uh, otherwise, uh, we're going to start with Infinity Watch. I want to see how badly do I get crushed? Do I get crushed? Uh, from what I understand, because this is going to be my first time fighting the full Unlimited X-Men. Let's be real clear about that one. Uh, I haven't fought the full team on Cosmic Crucible before. Uh, my understanding is that, you know, you want to kill Rogue. You know, you want to push her past 50% at least, and then that'll trigger her stealth, which I saw in the previous matches, and then maybe I can kill Gambit or kill, kill other characters? I don't know. Uh, but she will taunt again when others go under 50%. But, you know, um, you're basically stuck into her for a long time. And so she does do the special on the person with the highest speed. And that's probably going to be Nebula, right? And um, I don't know if she outspeeds Nebula or not. Uh, it's unavoidable, so the evade does nothing. Uh, I'm not really sure how this lines up because I've never done this matchup before. No, Gamora goes first. I thought it was Nebula. Oh, fuck! Well, I'm an idiot. I... Oh, my God. Yep, I fucked that, guys. Don't do what Boylan does. 
I I guess I might as well play it out just to see what happens. I this is this is the worst possible combination of characters that I have ever even uh, thought to do, and I don't think this is gonna. Do <laughs> Boy, I don't know what the fuck happened here. Okay, so this is straight. Yeah, I, I don't. Oh my god, I was an idiot, and so that loses me one attempt now, which is um uh, a bit of a problem, isn't it? You know what, I'm just going to back out now. Okay, so I fucked that up, and I might actually lose the match as a result of my, my stupidity here, because I forgot to look at my characters before clicking the button, and I'm leaving that in, because it's totally my bad, and I don't know, you know, let me down. Let me know in the comments down below, have you ever done something like that, and you weren't paying attention, and you clicked the, the, the frickin' attack button? Yeah, maybe I just thought it would auto-load Infinity Watch for some reason, but clearly it didn't. So we're going to go back in with Infinity Watch, and if we do some decent damage, I'm going to probably let the attack slide and then bring in my Eternals, and hopefully I can clear it up, uh, clean it up with them. That's my my hope, is if we can kill even a couple of members at this stage, that we can do a, <laughs> a two-shot, but I guess it's now a three-shot, uh, because I fucked up that first time. So that's highly unfortunate that I did that. I didn't, didn't mean to do that. So now... Yeah, we're gonna get. Uh, we're still gonna put the evades on though, and I wanna. I might as well go from the end because I wanna clear some of these starting evades, and uh, we'll do that. And then Rogue's gonna go next, probably. Oh no, Gamora's gonna go next. I thought it was gonna be um, Rogue. Um, I'm actually just gonna do the basic because I wanna do as much damage into her as I can. And see if that's... I, I'm, I'm honestly not sure the turn order... This is my first time. Uh, she's already actually at 50%, which is strange. So she's going to taunt again despite being at 50%. Which means that I can hit into her more, I guess. So we can clear that ability block. And if we can get Rogue down, I heard that that's a lot of the problem. Um, we'll see. And, I, and I'm kind of stuck here, right? So I kind of have to do that. It's going to knock her turn bar back, though. It's going to give some deflex to the team. And if we can get her down... When Gamora takes her turn again... There's maybe a good chance that I can get her down, but I'm not going to use any of uh, Adam Warlock's skills because there's not real much point in that. So that, yeah, that's interesting. Oh, the evade cleared actually, so that's good. So we're going to go in with the ultimate. It's not going to kill her, but it's going to do a lot of damage. We get the assist, and she's down. Okay, so this is a bit of a punch down, and I don't know if this is going to work the same way when there is... And I'm going to do the ability block on Gambit here because that's unavoidable. Oh, how did that hit? I thought he had evade. Oh, that's weird. Nebula still hit him. That's strange. And now he's gonna stealth. But then he has bleed, so he might bleed out. Yeah, he did bleed out. Okay, so this Infinity Watch actually seems like it's enough, unless I got lucky, that I was able to do that. So, maybe it depends on how big... This is a fairly big Unlimited X-Men, but it could be bigger. Uh, so they weren't really gear tier 14, they were gear tier 13, so uh, it seems like this is probably the best um, counter to Unlimited X-Men at this stage that I would see. The punch downs vary, it would seem, because I've heard some reports that they can actually beat uh, Infinity Watch at a pretty high punch down, so maybe it depends on the turn order, but this seemed to work for me, so that's good. Uh, it's unfortunate that I fucked up on the first round by accident with the uh, with the characters that I used, but you know, as you can see here, there's a gear tier 15 Gambit, gear tier 15 Rogue, 13 of the rest. So if they were maybe 14 and their stats were higher, maybe things would have gone differently. But I think that pushing pushing Rogue, you know, into stealth and then having her taunt again, you know, it's really all about getting through Rogue. She can be quite a big wall. And if you're not able to get through her, then it's quite a bit of a challenge. So as of currently, I think Infinity Watch actually is the best counter to them at this stage that I've seen. But I've only had real two attempts with them. Uh, the Eternals really didn't do much for me because the Eternals are going to get uh, outsped by Rogue, who then puts the trauma on Icarus, like you saw on my previous video. And if you didn't check that out, I do recommend doing that. So um, I'm not sure if I would use Eternals on them. Unless you were somehow, unless it was a huge punch down and you could use speed Eternals with like Cable, Loki, Emma, Eternals, and that way you could overcome uh, the speed of Rogue and be able to, you know, start hitting with alts. Uh, that's the only thing I could think of. But yeah, this this was a punch down, obviously. And it was, yeah. Well, it says 410k. Was it actually 410k or is that pre pre buffs for the Cosmic Crucible? I don't know. So this was a sizable. Because you can see that my score says 900. Oh, wait, that's my old one. Uh, 875. So, yeah, it was quite a sizable punch down. 
Um, but I think that that might be your best bet. I don't know to what degree, though, that Infinity Watch struggles. So at what team power for uh, Unlimited X-Men does Infinity Watch struggle? I'm not too sure yet because you know, I've only had a handful of attempts fighting them. Uh, but currently this is the best, <laughs> the best team that I've been able to use against them so far. So I hope that this helps. I know that some people might be walking around with a pretty large uh, Infinity Watch, especially if you're a veteran player. If you're a newer player, this might be more of a struggle for you though, unfortunately. So uh, that's it for just now. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. So stay safe and healthy. And I'll see you all later. Boylan signing out.